What is going on guys? It is your boy Yogi here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the week 4 challenges. Now this is not a Fortnite video, but I do want to, you know, have a video for both people. So if you guys did click on this video for Fortnite, here are the week 4 challenges. You know, it's real quick. I'm going to show you guys. That is the only like biggest uh, news or whatever things that have been leaked we've had so far. So yeah, that's it really for my Fortnite people. Not, not a big video on Fortnite today. I know I'm sorry. But today, mainly we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. Black Ops 4 isn't even close to being launched yet. How could we even have rumors on Modern Warfare 4? So, guys, basically what the news is today is that a lot of people from Respawn, which if you guys do not know is, Respawn is a company that was made from all the old developers from like Modern Warfare 2, all the old ones that got fired from Call of Duty, they left, and they made their own team called Respawn, and those are the guys that actually made Timefall. That's why Timefall kind of feels like Call of Duty a little bit. Basically, a new rumor has surfaced from y'all know who Matt Harris, the guy who leaked all this stuff about Black Ops 4. Basically, he claims that Call of Duty 2019 is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. And Charlie Intel also said this is what they heard as well. Basically, if you guys don't know who this guy is, Matt Harris, like a couple weeks ago last month, he said that Call of Duty would be like Overwatch, would be this and that, this and that. And I'm guessing most of the stuff he said was accurate, like 100% accurate. There is like Overwatch elements in there. And most of, most of it, it is what he said, but people just can't understand why he said he lied or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, that's besides the point. Basically, this is most likely true because, I mean, I don't know. I believe this guy now because all the leaks that he told us were true. So if you guys don't know yet, basically, the last two Infinity War games that were made were absolute garbage. In my opinion, I actually like Ghost. But Infinite Warfare, you guys saw how many dislikes it got, right? I mean, I personally, I enjoyed it a lot because it, most of the lobbies were noobs and you could easily get, like, nukes and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, as you guys saw, not a lot of people liked that game. Basically, these developers that moved to Respawn back in 2010 have returned to Infinity Ward recently. And basically, based off of this, everybody is thinking that Modern Warfare 4 will come back and it'll be like an OG Call of Duty. Again, Call of Duty is not announced nothing for call of duty 2019 and we should not expect any information until early 2019 so uh yeah i mean this is really really crazy i knew modern warfare 4 was gonna happen i as a kid i always wanted it to happen and it seems like this is gonna happen thank god and hopefully when these guys come back they make a really really good og call of duty i know a lot of people don't like black ops 4 but i feel like it's gonna be a really really good call of duty i feel like it's gonna be one of the best call of duties out on playstation 4 at least in my opinion, it might even rival Black Ops 2 and stuff like that. That's how I think because it hasn't came out yet. And I don't know. I just have really high hopes for it. Also, guys, since we're on Black Ops 4, the topic, there has been another rumor that the DLC for Black Ops 4 will be free for everybody. Basically, all the DLC for the multiplayer will be free, but there will be a season pass for zombies. You basically have to pay for the zombies maps now, which I hope they don't make it cost the regular price, $15 for a map pack because it's only zombies maps. So unless they're giving us four zombies maps, I don't want to pay $15 or $60 for a season pack. But uh, yeah, that's basically what is going on. Black Ops 4 will have free multiplayer DLC maps. And the season pass for the zombies, you're going to have to buy or pay for or whatever. But yeah, going back to the people who left uh, Infinity Ward, these are the guys right here. Jeffrey Smith, former designer at Infinity Ward, when moved to Respawn to be the lead game designer. He's now multiplayer design director at Infinity Ward. Now this is really, really good. Basically, he is the lead multiplayer designer. Basically, I mean... He gets to say what happens and doesn't happen. He gets to say this can stay in the game, this can't be in the game, this is too broken, this and that. Next person is Joel M. M, M Sly. I don't know how to say that. Former art lead at Infinity War, most to respond to be art director. He, he returned to Infinity Ward as studio art director at Infinity War. So, uh, yeah, basically, this is the guy that just, you know, shows how the game looks like. So, we'll be getting a Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 vibe off of how everything looks. Mark Grigsby was the former lead animator at Infinity War when moved to respawn to be lead animator. He's not back at animation director. Basically, if you guys know what animations are, it's like when a player does something, like when he runs or like when he's reloading or stuff like that. Randon Sarno, former senior animator, he's also back. John Mundy, he was a senior game designer. And now he's back at Infinity War, which is really, really good. Then we got Joshua, whatever this guy is. He, he's a senior environment artist. We got Don McCarthy, former producer at Respawn. Madison uh, Cromwell, former art producer at Respawn, currently associated with producer at Infinity War. So basically, all the main components you need for an OG Modern Warfare game, all the people that left, 
are now back so basically if they really are back and if they put their hardest into this new call of duty coming out in 2019 then we have something really really good on our hands i don't know tell me what you guys think about this i mean i really thought that this was gonna be my last call of duty to buy black ops 4 i mean it is still the last thing i'm gonna buy if black ops 4 isn't good i don't think i might buy another call of duty but i don't know i don't know if if if, if modern warfare 4 does come out next year then I don't know, I might have to buy it, I, I, I don't know. But hey guys, tell me what you think about this in the comments down below. If it really is OG Call of Duty, I really do hope that a lot of people come back. I uh, really hope that people start trick shotting again a lot more than how it is now. And uh, yeah, I hope people actually like the game if it is Modern Warfare 4 and not complain about it like they always do. I remember back in Modern Warfare 3, everybody was complaining it was the same. So when Modern Warfare 4 comes out, I'm going to be happy and I hope nobody complains about it. Personally, I do not want to go back to jumping and boots down on the ground. So I hope nobody complains about Mono Warfare 4 after all the things we've been through. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, so we get to the end of the video. Once again, I gotta remind these niggas Balenciaga. Remember when I couldn't buy these niggas? Call them bricks, birds, cause we really fly these bitches. Tell your mans I know I'm lit, but don't eye me, nigga. I'm solving every single problem. With a tool. Super so good nigga like he jumping off the pool. Let the fans hit the mansion, we gon' make it to the news. Chop a lift a nigga up, I bet he make it to the moon.